The alignment assembly constraints define a relationship between two selected items. Constraining parts in an assembly also limits or disables the freedom of movement within an assembly. Typically, three constraints are needed to fully define and constrain a part, but in many cases, parts need to be less than fully constrained, so the part is free to move along a particular axis. For example, a piston needs to move up and down within a cylinder. If it was fully constrained, it would not move. When an alignment assembly constraint is applied to two cylindrical items, their centers will be aligned to one another. Regardless of the kind of assembly constraint used during creation, the same assembly constraints dialog will show. Typically, when applying constraints to cylindrical objects, the dialog will default to the alignment selection. Just make a different selection if this isn't what you need at the moment. In this case, the alignment assembly constraint is applied to the piston and cylinder wall. The same goes for the crankshaft and cylindrical surface at the end of the connecting rod. Be careful to make sure the correct value is entered in the offset box before clicking on the apply button. This value needs to be zero when parts will be in contact with each other. A gasket can be added to this engine assembly in the correct position by aligning two holes on the gasket with two holes on the engine. Click on the Insert Assembly Constraint button and then select any hole on the gasket, then select a matching hole on the engine block. Make sure a line is selected in the Assembly Constraints dialog box and click on Apply. Leave the dialog box open and align the next pair of holes in the same way. The Quick Constraint mode can be used to place the gasket on the surface of the engine block. Select the mating surface of the gasket, then select the surface of the engine block. The flip button toggles a type of constraint just created between mate and align. It can be a handy tool for changing a part's orientation. Align sets one face opposite of the other with both surfaces on the same plane. Mate brings selected surfaces together, a little like gluing two blocks of wood together. When constraints are created, they will be listed in the Design Explorer under Constraints. You can always edit the items being constrained if necessary by selecting different geometry, for example. 